Alright guys, what's up? It's your boy GamerCam, back with you guys with another video. Now today's something a little bit more different. Um, it's going to be a tutorial on Photoshop. So, um, we got our car here, 812 super fast. And, um, so basically we're going to be doing a little, um, basic customization. Um, possibly a front lip, I'm not sure. Um, don't want to hold, don't hold your breath on that one. But, um, we're going to lower it, put wheels, tint some basic accents, um, things to just make the photo look better, um, Make the car look better, etc., etc. So now, just a um, quick introduction to the tools you're gonna use for this. Um, it might come for you. Might first open your Photoshop. It might um have the regular lasso tool. But you're gonna switch that to the polygonal lasso tool. Cause you're gonna be using that a lot when you're tinting stuff to select certain areas, lower the car set. Um, so you're gonna be using that a lot. Um, you're gonna wanna have your brush tool selected. Um, the clone stamp you might and the cloning tools you might not have to use, but you might have to sometimes. But I'm not sure if we're gonna have to use it today. If we will show you um the eraser tool just that's pretty obvious i mean or you could just use control z um and that's pretty much about it is what we're gonna need um also we're, I'm gonna, we're gonna be using um the hue saturation tool the one i'm kind of just circling the mouse around right now yeah the little the thing i'm on the mouse is on right now use such saturation that's gonna be the first thing we do um to actually you know what, we're gonna lower the car first and then we'll do the hue you know what just do the hue such saturation right now why not? Um, we're gonna use to change the color of the car. So we're gonna do yellows since the car is yellow. That's the color we wanna change. And then we're just gonna um change to the color that we want, which I'm gonna go for red because I think that would look good. I mean, you could do whatever you wanna do, whatever is to your taste. And sometimes you have to um try, it, give it a few tries, and it's not always gonna work on the first try, but. Alright, there we go. Let's try to see if I can get a red. I don't know if I can. Let's see if we can get that red. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get a red. Sorry. Yeah, red's not going to work. Alright, um. Also, sometimes you have to mess around with that slider on the bottom to get it more towards the color you're going to want to have. You're going to want to have. Um, but it really all depends. There. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to time-lapse this up, um, because it's taking me a long time, so, time-lapse of, of um, me trying to figure this out, the perfect color combo, um, in three, two, one. Okay, oh, God, 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 come on. Come on, I need this red to work. I really need the red to work. work. Alright, red's not happening. I want another color on this. It's not going to be totally bizarre. The purple is totally bizarre. Um, okay, I decided that I'm just going to leave it yellow, at least for now. Because it's going to be hard to use the hue slash saturation tool. Um, but you guys saw how it works, so that would be how it works. If you wanted to change the color of your car, you can Photoshop the simplest way that I do it. Um, and sometimes you have to, like, you can select the car first to make it easier for yourself, but I just do it that way. Simpler, whatever. All right. So now the first thing we're gonna do is um lower the car so that we have like a nice um ride height because right now it's way too low. So we're gonna wanna come to the. For me, I start always start at the front of the car. You could start in the back and then go to the front, but I always like to start at the front and go to the back. So here we go. Uh, we're gonna time lapse speed this up probably depending on how long it takes me to do it. Um, don't rush through this. I would advise you to do, but I would advise you to not rush through this. Um, because if you rush, then sometimes it'll end up looking jagged and it, it won't look the best. So I'm not saying you have to be like a turtle going like make it per super perfect. Sometimes I do that just because I don't even know why. Um, but you don't have to make it super perfect, but just at least try to make it decent. Is what I would um get is a tip I can give you guys. Um, but you guys will see the point of it. And I was dang.
Well, you can look online for whatever picture you want to use for the wheels for your car. So for me, I already found it just to save time in the video. If you've already wasted enough, um, um, I have a F. I found a eight. I found a, a F12. Look, it has some nice wheels on it. I might even end up borrowing the tires too because the tires on this thing are um way thinner than the ones that we have on here, which are thick and ugly. So um, here we go. Um, if, depending how long it takes me to even select these tires, I'll time lapse it up. Yeah, I'm definitely stealing the tires off of this. Definitely stealing the tires off of this. That's stretch too. Yeah, we're stealing the tires. So um, you don't have to steal the tires, but off the other car, you can sometimes just steal the wheel if the car already has a good enough tire that you're putting the wheel over. But this car has no stretch like at all. I mean, the the other the 812 on the tires like thick. Bulky and ugly. Definitely should not be on a Ferrari. Um, but that e that E63 wagon Photoshop that we did, the the wheels, the stock wheels, like already had some stretch on the tire, so I just um photoshopped the wheel over that and it looked great. At least in my opinion, it looked beautiful. <laughs> Larry in the Rari. So once you've um, did all the wheels, then just you're gonna go ahead and use the polygonal lasso tool to select little areas that are like still showing white. So for example, right now over where that tire is, it's gonna show showing white, which is a sign that it's photoshopped. So you wanna just use the, you're gonna wanna just use the um, polygonal lasso tool, and then just color black inside that little area, and that's it. It'll clean it up, make it nice and fresh. Um, I'll show it to you guys right now. Time lapse it to speed it up. which is actually very easy um it's way easier than it may seem so all you have to do is um, use the polygonal lasso tool to just go select around the window select, select the window and make sure not to um, touch the mirror which is very important but just to select the window make sure to not touch the mirror um and then you're just going to use your you want to use the pen tool i'll uh, make the pen tool black you can lower the transparency to whatever you would like to um to make depending how dark you want your windows for me i usually do the transparency about 40 and if i need to just keep clicking it then i can keep clicking it to keep darkening it to um darkness i like as you guys will see right now
Okay, now this part is optional, but I'm going to do it anyway. So we're going to want to use the polygonal lasso tool to select the um, little rear, the spoiler, the little front spoiler thing that we have right here on the F12. And we're going to move it over to the A12 using a few little tricks. Um, the, of course, our little skew tool, perspective and all that. And we're going to um, hopefully make it look good. So I'll get back to you guys when it's done. And um, yeah, I'm sorry also if this tutorial is pretty long complicated and I'm not really the best at tutorials but I wanted to make it for you guys anyway. Alright guys, that's the end of the tutorial, but if you enjoyed this video, uh, if this tutorial was helpful for you, I'm sorry if it's not perfect, but I really tried on it. So if it helps you out, put it down in the comments, please let me know. Um and that's it. So if so um, like, subscribe, share, but until the next one. Peace.